So you hearts. said eight, you said hearts. No. Oh, no! Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> the eight of hearts! Good morning, or should I say Kiora bro, I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand. Look at this, this is crazy, this is crazy to wake up to. I'm here because I get to do some magic and see family, which is where we're staying right now. I was very lucky for magic to be able to bring me across the pond like this, even though Australia is pretty close to New Zealand. I don't come here that much, so cheers. It's adventure day in Auckland and today we are going to explore the Hanua Falls uh, Massive waterfalls which uh, if I don't come back from I need my subscribers to avenge my death, okay? Come find me So now we've checked out the actual lookout where you're far away and you're sort of at level with it But now we're gonna take a ground look like super up close and I don't know if you can already hear it But the sound of it is like thunder almost the closer we get to it <laughs> Holy! That was a mission and a half while holding a camera at the same time Content! I think this might be the closest we can physically get to it without actually going in the wall. <sighs> and we survived. Now for a soda. <sighs> All right, here's an update. I'm here for the private event for this evening here in Auckland. I'm using my car boot as the green room, classic, to get all my items ready just in private because people have arrived at the house, but they are arriving slowly. So we're delaying the start time a little bit, which is fine for me because it gives me more time to get things ready. Um, but I just need more privacy to like set up. So I'm using this massive car boot to do that, uh, which is classic. I'm gonna see if I can get some footage of the show but stay tuned. Give me a yeah. yeah! All right, good stuff. So this is where most people stop, so that's you, feel free to stop now. But to show you what's possible with a decade of card tricks, you can push the boundary a little bit. I know. Um, two years of uh, COVID isolation, you get a little bit further as well. And just for your viewing pleasure, we should be able to go all the way around. And then if you listen, if you listen, that's the sweet spot right there. Thank you, my mom is so proud. Thank you, thank you. Now he did a sneaky move that I can tell you and that makes it look like it disappears. Wow. Thank you, one person. Now, <laughs> for Emma, we can produce a nice bottle of wine just for tonight. All right, yeah. There you go, that's, that's for you, Emma. that's for you, that's for you. Could you think of a card that would be inside this deck? Just in, just in your head. Do you have one? Okay. Just one. Okay, that's good. I like. I like this again. Okay. Now we're gonna use. This is great. This is great. So, um, no, it's great. So you're familiar with the cards, and and you, you may not just pick an you know an obvious one or something. Um, okay. Can I use both your hands for this for a second? You'll get your Jedi juice back in just a moment. But I'm gonna move one card to a particular <laughs> spot, and I think for you, it's gonna be like this. And your name? Tracy. Tracy, Tracy. So hold, your left hand's gonna hold the cards, your other hand's gonna go on top, so you're covering the whole deck. So now that you're holding them, I can't do any ninja moves. Okay, I'd watch out for Scott, but <laughs> otherwise we're fine. So tell us, Tracy, for the first time, what card did you think of? Second, two of hearts. Two of hearts. And second of <laughs> the second of hearts. You know what? At least you said like a card that does exist. Some, I, I've I've had honestly had people that said like the 
I've had people say like the 13 of spades or the, <laughs> the, the black three of diamonds. And I'm like, what is happening? But Seven of Hearts like actually sounds a bit more prestigious. So um, knowing that you might say that, could you show them the top card? No. Oh. Give it up for Tracy. All right. And she's laughing because you can, you know, yes or no, Emma, did you feel something? Yes. Could you point to where you felt it? No. You felt, <laughs> wow, wow. That's so weird, that's creepy. Instead of me turning the cube, just use your imaginations. And if you've been drinking a lot, you should have a good one at this point. <laughs> so as I just spin the cube, imagine the colors start to come together a little bit at a time. So now it would be about 20 moves away from being solved. It now would be about 15 moves away. Now about 10 moves away from being solved, right? Then we get five moves away, four moves away, and if we just give it a little wave, it should go back to being completely solved again, just like that, just like that. I'm Josh Nobito, thanks for playing, guys. And just like that, time to go back home to Brisbane, New Zealand. You've been great, but uh, I've got to do some magic back home now. See ya.